Hey guys, we're going to look at uh, how to set the bias on a Jet City uh, amplifier. This is the JCA 22H, and um, there's already a very good video uh, out there on how to do it with just a multimeter. Um, but uh, this was my first uh, tube amplifier, my first time doing the bias settings, and I was a little bit concerned about uh, shocking myself, so I went ahead and purchased a uh, bias uh, tool and uh, with three leads. So the bias tool just enables me to select um, each, each of the power tubes. And then if you notice, there's a third lead on there, uh, lead number C. And that, uh, that's the red one there. Um, that checks my plate voltage. And uh, you'll need your plate voltage to be able to set the, set the bias correctly. All right, so the calculation for, uh, for bias is this. Um, so you, first you want to de determine your tube maximum, um, the, you know, the maximum bias setting, and then uh, based on that you'll determine your tube operating range. Uh, so to determine your tube's maximum bias setting, that's uh, use the, your rating, your wattage rating for the tube type. In this case I've got an EL84. And uh, the EL84s are, are rated at about 12 watts uh, each tube. And so, um, using the, even though I've got two tubes, and so that'd be around 20 watts for the amplifier, um, it, you use the 12 watts, the wattage for the single tube, and you divide that by the plate voltage. So I'm going to turn on my, my auto ranging multimeter, and I'm going to put it on C, which is the red one that connects to my. Uh, plate voltage tester and so that's coming out at 379 um, uh, well 37.9 the the bias tester that I'm using converts um, has a resistor that converts it from volts to millivolts um, so um, but uh, uh, 37.9 and then I'm using 380 on here because I'd already written this down but so divided by 12 watts by, by 38, that gives me a maximum of 0 0.3157, okay? Now, then I know my maximum, and this, if you think of the maximum and the operating range, think of it as like headroom for the amplifier's sound. Uh, if, you, if you go too far over the operating range, uh, then your, your wavelength is going to clip um, basically, it it, um, it limits the sound. It doesn't sound as good. Plus, uh, you're at at seventy percent or higher. Your, your tubes are going to wear out faster. They run a little hotter, and they'll wear out faster. So, uh, to determine your tube operating range, uh, use fifty to seventy percent of the maximum that you just calculated up here. The wattage divided by your plate voltage, and uh, then so that's the maximum. And I'm multiplying by 0 0.7. 0 0.7 would be the 70% mark, and that's going to give me 22.1. And so on my multimeter here, on my, well, my bias tool, I'm going to switch it to the first tube. First tube, I've got it set at 20.3. Remember, we were looking for the so the maximum is 22.1, and then the cool rating or the lower end of the operating range is 15.8. Uh, so I've got it set uh, somewhere in between 60 and 70 percent uh, in that operating range. 20.3. All right, now check your other power tube. My other power tube was a little bit less than that, 18. Okay, so what you need to do is use whichever one is higher to determine your bias. So I'm going to put it back to the one that that's a little bit higher. And uh, what I would do, or what I did, was I went ahead and played, you know, I got a good feel for it, that sound. I played the guitar through it and listened to it. And then I went to the back of the amplifier and I set the bias to a different uh, bias setting. Now on the JCA22H, uh, it's got a bias wheel right there in the center. Look, it even says the word bias on the circuit board. See the bias? Right in the middle. Okay. And we'll switch hands here. Okay. 
very carefully, I'm going to, if I can do this, use a non-conductive object to touch my bias wheel. And then I'll, let's see, if I wanted to set it cooler, I would, oops, that's too far. Just move it just a little bit. There we go. I would, now I would set it, uh, and that changes it. Remember we were at 20 something? So that changed it to 16. So you don't, don't be heavy handed with it. Um, because it, it changes quite a bit with just a little bit of motion. But then uh, play, your, play your guitar, figure out if you like that sound or not, and then adjust accordingly. So you'll adjust it and begin in your operating range of 50 to 70 percent. And uh, just go ahead and do the math so you know that anywhere, in my case, in between 15.8 and 22.1 would be a good safe range. And just set it to wherever you uh, feel is best. Okay, that's how to set the bias the easy way. It is more expensive, but, uh, but it, is, it is easy.